Hello again, we are finishing up our discussion of parametric equations by talking about how to find the slope of a tangent line on a graph and the concavity of that graph. So let's get started. First of all, let's talk about the slope of a tangent line. Now normally when we found that, um, we calculated dy dx, and that gave us the slope of every tangent line. But the problem is y is not expressed in terms of x. y and x are both expressed in terms of t. So how do I find dy dx if x and y are both expressed in terms of t? What I can do is I can treat the dy dx as a fraction, and I can technically divide the top and the bottom by dt, uh, which I did there in red. And so now the slope of the tangent line becomes dy dt over dx dt. And I know both of those, or at least I can figure them out, because x and y have both been expressed in terms of t. So as an example, let's say I have this position vector there, and um, let's say I want to know the slope of the tangent line when t equals 2, and I've drawn it on there. So I'm just going to figure out dx dt and dy dt separately, plugging in 2 for my t variable. So dx dt is negative 2 sine of 2t, and dy dt is going to be 2t times the cosine of t squared. Um, dy dx is going to be the quotient of those two things, dy dt over dx dt. And I'm just going to rewrite those um, in fraction form. And when I plug in 2, I get 4 times the cosine of 4 over negative 2 times the sine of 4, and that gets me something close to negative 1.727, which looks like the slope of that dotted line that I've already drawn on the graph. Now for concavity, it gets a little more complicated um, because the concavity is given by the second derivative, which is d squared y over dx squared. Um, and I can write that in a couple more ways as d dx uh, of dy dx or d dy dx dx. There's a couple of ways to write that. One is going to be easier than the other. Um, it just depends on what you're used to. But the problem again is dy dx is not a function of x. So how am I supposed to um, write this um, and get the concavity if all of my equations are expressed in terms of t? So what I do is again, I treat this third version that I've written for the second derivative and I divide top and bottom by dt. And so I get this expression here. So I'm going to take the derivative of dy dx with respect to t and put that on top, and I will take dx dt and I will put that on the bottom. So here's an example. Let's go back to this example right here, and I'm going to find the concavity when t equals 2. Well, I figured out dx dt was negative 2 sine 2t, and at t equals 2, that was negative 2 times the sine of 4 dy dx was uh, dy dt over dx dt, which I've already uh, figured out to be that fraction there. And at t equals 2, it's going to be um, d dt of that when t equals 2. All right, so I'm not really going to figure out what the derivative of that is and then plug in 2 when a calculator can do that for me. So I've typed in the exact expression into the calculator, and I got an answer of 10.120. So remember, the second derivative, the concavity, is going to be that derivative over whatever I got for dx dt. And I have that already. That's negative 2 times the sine of 4. So if I take my answer, 10.120, and divide it by negative 2 times the sine of 4, I get an answer of 6.686, um, approximately. So that's going to represent the concavity of my graph at time 2. All right, so that is slope of a tangent line and concavity. That's our last unit on parametric equations. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I will see you tomorrow.